have the perfect location for your next family vacation. Here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, larger than life characters from Toy Story, 101 Dalmatians, and Fantasia are just the beginning of the excitement. Little ones can have epic fun at the kiddie pool or swing into the action at the playground. And the family-friendly food court is just the ticket at mealtime. So now let's head on in so we can show you what all this resort has to offer. Disney's All-Star Movies Resort is located adjacent to Disney's All-Star Music and Disney's All-Star Sports Resorts here in the Animal Kingdom Resort area. If you're looking for a really fun way to cool down, you can also head over to Blizzard Beach, which is also located here in the Animal Kingdom Resort area. The All-Star Movies is the third and final hotel in the All-Star Complex, which opened in January 1999. Groundbreaking began in 1997, and in January 1998, that's when they began taking reservations. And like the other All-Star Resorts, All-Star Movies falls into the value price range. This is a 1,920 room resort featuring five Disney movie inspired areas, including 101 Dalmatians, Toy Story, Herbie the Lug Bug, Fantasia 2000 and the original, and the Mighty Ducks. Cinema Hall, the main building of the resort, offers check-in and guest service facilities, a 24-hour front desk, express checkout, world premiere film-inspired food court with five marquee venues, Donald's double feature gift shop, real fun arcade, and a playground, and laundry facilities near Fantasia Pool. There are two pools here at this resort. If you exit out the back side of Cinema Hall, go enter the Fantasia Pool area where Sorcerer Mickey directs a liquid symphony and the salsa features kid friendly area. If you're hungry and looking for something to eat or something to drink, you can stop by the Super Screen Spirits Pool Bar, which is located adjacent here to the pool. And if you have any young swimmers who are maybe somewhat afraid, you can always pick up a little life jacket here beside the pool as well. The buildings have interior and exterior theming to match their names, and we're going to start here in the Fantasia area right beside the pool. Here you can find giant sorcerer's hats, spell books, and brooms with buckets decorating the area. You can also find a giant jack-in-the-box, toy soldiers, and you may even spot Donald Duck. If you continue walking straight back from the Fantasia section, you will enter Herbie the Love Bug area. Herbie, the famous VW Beetle, is approximately five times his normal size. The railings throughout this area are decorated with flags, wrenches, and screwdrivers. And don't forget to check out this area right here, the Winner's Circle, because this is the perfect place for a photo op. Fun fact! This is actually the car that was used in the Magic Kingdom Parade from 1978 to 1990. Here in the 101 Dalmatian section, there is a 40-foot tall Pongo and a 35-foot tall Perdita, and their spotted pups decorate the railings. Stairwells on either side of the building are covered with fire hydrants, and if you pay attention while walking on the sidewalks, you'll see that the paw prints are embedded in the concrete. If you're really paying attention and you look up while you're walking through, you might even spot Cruella de Vil driving in her car. Did you know that if you count all the Dalmatians here in the 101 Dalmatians section, including Pongo and Perdita, it adds up to 101 Dalmatians? Who would have guessed? Mighty Ducks score big with giant hockey sticks, goalie nets, and duck-shaped hockey masks. Goalie nets surround the staircases and they are 31 feet high. 
Guests looking for a cinematic swim can dive on into the hockey-themed duck pond pool. You may even spot Goofy defending his goalie net. When you come out of Cinema Hall, if you make a left, you will head right through Andy's door into the Toy Story area. Toy Story lovers will be enchanted by the 35-foot tall Buzz Lightyear and the 25-foot tall Woody. You can also find Rex, Bo Peep, RC, and a giant checkerboard. Bucket of soldiers encase the stairwells and green army men guard the tops of the buildings. If you plan on spending some downtime here at your resort, there is a great one mile trail that connects all three of the All Star Resorts. You can also check the resort calendar to see what activities are going on here. Every night they show a Disney movie out under the stars. Most Disney resorts do this regularly, so just be sure to check the schedule and see what the movie is, and you can have some great fun out here at the Fantasia Pool to watch that movie. Alright, so one of the most important things about your resort is transportation from your resort to the parks. Here at All Star Movies, we have only one mode of transportation, and that are the Disney buses. The Disney buses run about every 20 minutes. Fun fact, there are four miles of railings here at the All Star Movies Resort. And these railings look like movie reels. Let us know, have you ever stayed here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort? If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation or your very first Disney vacation, you can reach out to us at joshrippy at goldgalgetaways.com or you can head over to goldgalgetaways.com and request your free quote and somebody will be in touch with you.